Yo, what's up, man? Your boy EQ. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome, guys and ladies. Have a little short conversation with you guys, man. I'm getting ready to head out. It's about uh, 6.57. I got about uh, 10 minutes, 11 minutes to go up the road uh, to my client's son. He's in, uh, he's in town. So we're going to do a wash and a uh, shampoo on the carpet this morning. What I want to talk to you guys about, man, I get a lot of emails on my computer. And uh, a lot of you guys want to do things the way people like myself and a couple of others are, uh, are doing. And we've been out here a long time. And you're not going to be able to do it. Uh, like me, myself, I, I got enough clients where I go by referrals. And uh, I was getting an email the other day. A guy said, said he's going to try to go by referrals, but he's just now getting started. It won't work for you. And the reason I say this, no one knows who you are. And not knocking some of you guys' ideas, honestly, I'm really not. But when I first started, <clears throat> I took anything that I could get my hands on. I was so motivated, I didn't care what I cleaned. I mean, I've been cleaning toilets. <laughs> I've been buffing on the toilet lid if they let me. I mean, I was motivated simply because of the fact I was in debt. I wanted out. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of you guys know my story. I was in debt and ended up paying about 80 grand off in two years, two and a half years, something like that. And to get myself reestablished because some people say, well, he went broke. No, just had a financial crisis. <laughs> I don't go broke. Just had a financial crisis. So, but enough of that, man. You guys, you're going to have to, you're going to have to get in the trenches. There's no easy way around this here. Nobody knows who you are. You're not going to get any work. But if you take each and everything that come at you, people start noticing who you are. Noticing you're a hard worker. Noticing you're a go-getter. Noticing you're dependable. Noticing you're on time. Noticing your work. Noticing your work ethic. Notice the way you speak. You're not using foul language 24-7. Every word you speak is a, a foul language. If I haven't said this enough before, nobody wants to deal with that except for another foul language person who's looking for a deal. That's basically what they're going to do. They're looking for a deal. They're not looking. They're looking for perfection, but to give you $20 for your perfection. You see my point? But you're going to have to get in the trenches. You're going to have to get dirty. You're going to have to get in the mud. You know what I'm saying? You get, man, you're going to have to get it out the mud. I mean, there's no way around it, man. You can't go in and expect to make the same thing that this guy making 20 years into the game. Don't forget, you just coming off the bench. You've been sitting on the bench 20 years. This guy been in the game 20 years shooting threes. And you can't, you know, go in the game and expect to be the superstar. It's just not how it's going to work, man. Uh, some of you guys are getting equipment. You don't need brand new equipment. You're putting yourself in the hole before you get started. You can go to pawn shop, just make sure it works. Like right now, my compressor gave out. I've been having that thing about 12, 13 years. Finally gave out on me. Am I going to buy another one? I'm a country boy. <laughs> I'm going to fix that sucker. Have I ever fixed one? Mm -mm. We got a rule down south. If we can't fix it, we'll tear it up for you. <laughs> it's mine, so hey, if I tear it up, so be it. I'll go buy another one. But not before I'm going to try to tamp around with it and see what I can fix it. And I can almost guess what's wrong with it. And I've never told one apart before. Learn to work on your equipment, save you a lot of money. That way you ain't got to take it nowhere. Learn to work on your own equipment. Some things you're not going to be able to do. But the simple things you can do, it'll probably take me about $25 to $36 to fix that thing. Instead of me going and spending $149 to go buy another one. So my point is, young guys, um, Young ladies, 
Take what you can get when you first start out. That way you can make your mistakes early. You know, get with family members, get with friends. Ask them, hey, man, can I practice on your car? Hey, uh, you know, you give me like 20 bucks, you know, I'll wash your car for you and, you know, see how they like your work. Because one thing about family members, dog, they'll tell you the truth. <laughs> you may not like it, but they'll light you up with it. I know my family does. My family like, I know, E. Mm -mm, nope. <laughs> but I'm truthful myself, so it is what it is. It runs through the bloodline. <laughs> so that's my message, man. You know, you guys take everything that you can get, man. So you're not going to be able to do what I do because you may not be in the area or the city like mine. It's all about your geographic. You're in a big city, you're in a small city. You're in a small town, you're in a hick town. You know, a small, real small town. You're not going to be charged what I charge for a real small, small town. You're not going to get it. The bigger the city, the bigger the opportunities. So that's how you got to look at that. You know what I mean? The little small towns, mm, no, because job market's not that big. Most of the town is small towns. They got to drive out to the big city or wherever uh, the jobs are located at. So therefore, you're not going to be able to get that kind of moolah in a small town. So I'm going to mess with my day, man. Let me get dressed and fill my bucket up with hot water and uh, head, on, head on across the way, man. Y'all be cool. Appreciate the emails. And you, you new guys on my channel, welcome. Much love. Deuces. All right, guys. I'm out on the scene. Uh, I got this 4x4 through this morning. The wash. Uh, he's a client son of mine. He just got back in town. Excuse the noise. We got my generator running. Uh, he wants his carpet shampoo. I just got done vacuuming. Vacuuming it up. It's a work truck. Before I even start to steam clean the carpet. Because I want everything out of my way, guys. You see? I even got in between the seats. When you're doing a shampoo job for someone, do a real good job at vacuuming up everything first. Because you don't want to start the steam to grind more dirt into the carpet, okay? You see here? I done a hell of a job just vacuuming before I even started. All right? So the outside is pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty grimy. You know, it's a work truck. So I'm just going to do the shampoo with the carpet and a wash job and you know, wipe down everything on the outside. So, uh, I haven't done anything to the match yet. So excuse the noise. You see here, I'm getting ready to get my drill brush so I can go in a hurry to clean these off. And I got my steamer already warmed up and it's ready to go, okay? All right, let's get it in. <laughs> 